Hello everyone. How are we all doing? We all good? Is the sound okay? Oh wait, 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 wait. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. How's that? Fresh shave. Wicked. Bit of an echo for a second. I can't believe David Firth's streaming, man. I'm got I'm thank you. Twenty years old, that's amazing. Best thing I've heard all day. But I have been stuck indoors to be fair. Um I can't believe David Firth is streaming and I'm vying for his airtime. I love him. He's a hero. Age of Empires not tonight, Jeffy. Not tonight, I'm afraid. Um that I'll, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again in the week because I really enjoyed it and I want to do it again. Uh, greetings from Transylvania. Ooh, cool. Greetings right back at you, mate. Come on, everyone. Pile in. Pile in. How not to travel Canada sometime? Maybe. Me and Greg were actually discussing this the other day. Where's our next, um, you know, adventure going to be together? And... When is is another question. It ain't going to be this summer, that's for sure. Hello, 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 everyone. The beard just fell off. No, not really. That's, that's quite worrying. Greg's fine. Greg's good. He's down in Wales. Sneaking, He's sneaking up the mountains every day to go for walks and runs and stuff. Um, yeah, greetings from Birmingham indeed. Hit me up with some questions while while everyone's piling in, guys. Don't be shy. I mean, yeah, don't be shy. The wisdom may have gone with the beard, yep. Yeah. Mr. Pike. I shaved the beard because it was getting a bit silly. It was getting a bit scruffy. And almost biblical in size. Favourite Pokemon? Do you know what? I love the, the, the kind of... How do I explain this? Your Gengars, your Alakazams, your Machamps. The ones that are at the top of a, of a three. Do you know what I mean? I always used to go for those. I miss football greatly. Old school RuneScape name is Melentrio. I'll type it in. You can all give me money. I don't go on it much, but... There you go. You can give me money. Uh, who do I support? No one, just England. You asked me this last time. Yeah, the highest evolution out of threes, exactly. Hull or York? What do you think, mate? Um, greetings from Rome. The answer's York, by the way. Yeah, some music in the background. Maybe I'll sort that out soon. I'm not going to do it today. Favourite accent? Geordie. I love Geordies. <laughs> What's the next country you're going to be doing a perfect score? Um, I think I'm going to do France next. I can't pronounce your name. DJ Sedgev511. I'm doing France, I think, because it's about time. <sighs> Favourite player in Malbo FF. Couldn't name one, unfortunately. Favourite food in a can? Kippers. Especially on camping trips. Nice questions coming in. Nice questions. Are we all here yet? We've got 66 viewers apparently. I think it's more than that. I think it lags a bit. Favourite food you can't have due to lockdown? Honestly, McDonald's, to be honest. Cause, uh, and, uh, or, or Wagamama's. Verity likes to go to Wagamama's. Because um, we've been buying some nice food because we can't spend money in the pub. So. Oh, yes. Guys, uh, a few of you now uh, have emailed me asking me to tell you more about the bike trip I did from London to, to, to Budapest. I don't go to McDonald's that often, by the way, but it's a nice treat, isn't it? 
Um, anyway, I want to tell you a bit more <coughs> about this uh, bike trip from London to Budapest because I don't think I explained a lot about it and it's inspired some of you clearly, so why not? Um, so, oh shit, did I just take a photo of myself? I don't know. So, I, um, I bought... The, the bike I used, by the way, was was not good. It was crap. It, it cost me about £150 from um, Halfords. Do you remember Halfords? Do you remember the days of Halfords? I know it's still going. We'll see. Um, the, the bike was terrible. So you don't need a really fancy bike at all. Um, in fact, I would advise against it because y- it will either get stolen or you'll fall off and break it especially if it's carbon fiber and, and it'll be fucked. Um, so, shit bike. I bought some panniers to fit on the back. They were terrible. They they cost they cost about £20 from eBay and they did fall apart at the end. But, you know, they lasted until there. I didn't ride through the Channel Tunnel, but I did end up on a motorway just north of Dover, which was ridiculously dangerous because I didn't have lights and it was getting dark. I cycled in the dark on a on a on a motorway uh, with no lights and no helmet. I don't think it gets more dangerous than that. So don't do that, please. It wasn't funny. It was very scary. Every lorry that went past blasted its horn at me and I was shitting a brick, to be honest. Uh, So don't do that. Then I just kind of, I just kind of headed through Bruges. Um, How did I get across the channel? How did I get across the channel? I got the boat. I got the boat. That was it. Um, right. And then I went through Bruges. I went through like the coast of Netherlands, through Den Haag, uh, Amsterdam. Then I hooked down through Utrecht. All the time, trying to cycle a large amount each day, trying to guess my way there. Um, is it lagging? A couple of people are saying it's lagging. Why did I go on the motorway in the first place? I got lost and someone actually directed me that way, which was really stupid. Um, and then, yeah, so each day I was trying to cycle about 60 or 80 miles a day, trying to give myself a good challenge, uh, setting off early. And But each time I got to Amsterdam or um, where else did I go? Cologne or Dusseldorf or Frankfurt. I I made sure I checked into one of the best hostels that was in the city. You know, one of the most vibrant, well-rated hostels. Even if it cost a little bit more. Although usually the cheapest ones are the best ones, by and large. Bruges was amazing. The hostel I had in Bruges was amazing. And just had beers in the bar and got chatting to people. I'm quite a social guy. I like chatting with people, telling stories, sharing stories. And it was great because a load of people had... um, respect for what I was doing and it really lifted me and it really inspired me to keep going um, because at first I was like am I going to do this I prob- I, maybe I will maybe I won't do it maybe you know get to Budapest but a bunch of American guys in Bruges goggle it was Charlie Rockets hostel in Bruges amazing I don't know if it's still going this was 2014 um and a load of American guys. I think there's a lot of American people go to Bruges because of the film, right? Um, and they were like, "Dude, you gotta, you gotta do this, man. We think you're awesome, man. Like, can't believe you're doing this." Like, and I was like, after that day, I was like, "I'm doing it. I am 100% doing it," because they inspired me, and they all wrote in this little book that I had. And yeah, I don't know. Just meeting people was was brilliant. I got fingered in Bruges. Well done, Terry. It worries me that you're a you're a guy. Mind you, Terry could be a girl's name. Um, favorite Geordie. Oh, that's a that's a good one. Favorite Geordie. I I do like Andy Carroll, the footballer, for some reason. Um. Did you meet anyone who was a dick? Who's the co- who's the um, comedian I'm thinking of? Geordie. Obviously Gaza. And... No, no, not him. Who are the two comedians from Newcastle? 
They're a duo. Ralmote. Someone will say it in a minute. Jeeves and... No, Jeeves. Reeves and Mortimer. Anton Dick. <laughs> oh, they're all right. Come on. They're like... <laughs> they're the keynotes of the uh, entertainment world. Uh, right. Guys, I think we're all here. There's enough of you here. Um, thanks for your questions. If I didn't answer any of your questions. I didn't go through Nimijan. I went through Utrecht. Then Arnhem. Then down into Bur Birmingham. Down into Germany. I didn't even know I'd got into Germany. I, a woman went... Achtung! And I was like, oh, I'm in Germany. Anyway. Look at this. I've been practicing. No point moving around. I got the most insane score a minute ago. Insane guess. It was ridiculous. It was in Osaka and I was one mile away. And that's on... We're on a diverse world here. No moving, scrolling or zooming. And you missed it. That wasn't a good one. <laughs> um, right. GeoGuessr. Here we go. Diverse world. Oh, get the chat back. There we go. Yeah, we're doing what we did last week, guys. And doing a bit of diverse world. No moving, scrolling or zooming. Say I if you want me to um, do the second game without zooming in on the map. Do you remember I did that once? You know, just clicking on the map without zooming in. I could do that, but... It ain't as good as normal, but it's something different. A few people saying I, but to be fair, I didn't give the alternative. I will accept your friend's request. I just haven't got... I'm doing it in, in droves. So, right. A Diverse World by Mapper. Mapper, I'm sure you're not watching, but thank you. Never thanked you um, for, for all your effort. You know, making these maps. He has been changing the... You know, there's 10,000 locations on there. Big up mapper, exactly. Arr! A few people saying nay. Oh, that's too confusing. Right, let's just play this. Uh, we'll see how the first game goes, shall we? Okay, here we go. I'm nervous today. I think I'm going to do shit today. Whoa! Whoa-ee! Well, it's Africa. And there's palm trees. What do you reckon, Ghana? Look at that woman's head headgear. Kenya, a couple of you are saying. No, but look at look at how they look. They're they're a different different kind of race, aren't they, to Kenyans? But I don't know if we can tell the difference from this. Mm, yeah, I think I'm going I'm going Ghana. That was my first instinct. So I'm gonna go for it. You reckon Accra? I'm going to go ho, because, come on. Oh, oh, it was Nigeria. Lots of palm trees in Nigeria. You're right, CJ Mayer, 96. You're right. What's, where's Geography Challenges? Don't see the yellow plates of Ghana. I need to listen to this guy. He plays GeoGuessr a lot more than me these days, and, well, what can you say? Not enough words about his skills. Uh, but that's not a terrible score. I wish I knew what the record was, or my record. What's your record in, in this format? Do you know? Geography challenges, sir? What's your name, by the way? <laughs> I just know you as geography challenges. I don't know, maybe your parents named you that. I don't know. Peli Grosso, that does sound Chilean, doesn't it? 20, 23,850 in this format. Mate. And your name's Rory. Oh, that's nice. Nice to meet you, Rory. Um, <laughs> who is this? Do you mean me or him? Yeah. Okay. Pellegroso does sound Chilean to me. Is that because of the football manager Pellegrini? Maybe. But um, I think it's either... Well, it could be a number of places. Let's go Chile, shall we? It could be Peru, though, couldn't it? Which is not on that continent. You can't see my compass, really. Oh, yeah, you can't. It don't really matter, guys. No, it does, doesn't it? It does. I'll move here. Whoop. 
Yeah? No, because that'll cover the map. Oh, for God's sake. I'll go there and I'll make myself smaller. No one wants to really see me anyway. There. There we go. Maybe a bit bigger. Top left. All right, then. Rigging out. There we go. I feel tall now. That's the tallest I've ever felt. Okay. I don't want to know what Rory thinks it is because he's right every time. So, um, right, I'm going... I am actually going to go for Southern Peru. Make it full screen. What are you guys... I can't look. I can't do that. Just, just believe me. There, Caruca. Oh my word, Mexico. God, Peligroso Street in Merida, Mexico. We didn't have to. We didn't have a lot to go on, did we? I don't look like Bruno Fernandez. He's the ugly one. It's um, the Man City player, Bernardo Silva, that. I would say, if anyone, I look like. But not now without the beard. I look nothing like him now. It was just the shape of his head and the fact that he had a beard. Which gave a, a vague resemblance. It didn't look like Mexico, did it? Thank you. Well done, Stinky McStinkson. Very charming name. Oh, you mean like that? Full screen. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Dagenham Market. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, it is. Well, I've never been there, but I can well imagine. Right, uh, where are we? Where are we here? I sound like Ozzy Osbourne, man. Fucking hell! Oh, it's fucking digging and marking. Um, right, I'm going Kenya for this one. South Africa, do you think? Let's have another look. Tamworth. Now nah, I think uh, I'm going Kenya. I'm going Kenya. I'm in Ethiopia at the moment. I'm not confident on this one, but I'm. I'll go. I'll go Boston. No, I won't, because that's middle of nowhere. This is wrong, but oh no, it's not. Whee! <laughs> Have more faith in yourself, young Thomas. Yeah. Well, they drive in the left, C.J. Mayer in. Kenya, this is just countries that are on GeoGuessr, Botswana, South Africa, and Uganda. And then all these ones over here are on the right, I think. I'm I, After today, Mokai, I will be an affiliate. Oh, yeah, that's... um. I'll tell you about that later. <coughs> I'll tell you about a few things after the GeoGuessr. I'm going to be an affiliate just after tonight, so... Next one. Imagine driving on the left. It's not as weird as you think. Right, where's this? This is this is Europe, isn't it? Hello. Well, it says staff here. Staff must be the same word in a few countries. I thought Belgium few people saying Netherlands and Germany. Thanks to whoever will sub. If you sub, you'll get a load of lovely twitchy emotes that someone made for me. Can't remember his name. Maybe he's here right now. Maybe he'll pipe up. load of really cool emotes that he's made. Anyway, and, and lo a few other perks, I imagine. I am going... Yeah, I'm going... Um, I'm going Germany. If it's Netherlands, we'll have a plate. They're not. They're not. Um, they're not yellow. Ah, Denmark. Good point. Ah, oh, why do I listen to you guys so much? Yeah, I, th I think. Oh, shit. I'm going with my original thought of Germany. I don't know. Let's go, Duisburg. Yeah. Bruckhausen. Oh, it was Belgium. Bloody hell. See, you're all conflicted. Carton House Official, which is a pretty German name, is saying it's 100% not Germany. Should have listened to him. Um, 
But then a few of you were saying Denmark, a few of you were saying Netherlands. Not Danish enough, mate. Well said. What score are we on here? We're on an okay score, really. 12, 9, 60. And this... Let's see here. Let's see. Can we see any shadows? It is Spanish looking. But could it not be... Could it not be South Africa or Australia? Let's not rule those out. I can't turn around, mate. Well, I c yeah, I should be turning around afterwards. Honestly, though, it takes so long. It's almost not worth it. Someone's saying Southern Italy. You don't live behind those trees, mate. Possibly Turkey. Now, if you look... The sun, you can see the shadows on these trees. This is what I'm trying to fixate on amongst all the natter in the chat. The sun is, is clearly in the south. So we are in the northern hemisphere, I think, if that theory is right. So we're talking Greece, Italy, Spain. I'm going to go Greece as, as a rogue guess. It probably ain't right, guys, but... Here we go. I'll try and move around. Is it letting me? I've made my guess. Portugal I didn't consider. I'm... Yeah. Probably is Spain, isn't it? It's not Benny Dawn, mate. Let's see. This could be Greece. It's Turkey. Same part of the world. But... Uh, <laughs> I honestly don't think it's my internet. I've explained this so many times. It's my computer, my computer shit. Uh, yeah, right part of the world. That's not a terrible score for this format. Um, what map do you want to see? Uh, do you want me to do Diverse World again? Or, or would you like to see I Saw the Sign or something like that? Urban World. There, there there, we go. Urban world. That's what it will be then. Ace of base. Neo-Nazis. Urban world. I did have a, a good computer. But it's it's got old. So I'm going to get a new one. Don't worry. Um, how do I buy one now? Do you know what I mean? I could but. I don't, I don't know. Right, Urban World, uh, what are we doing? We're playing. We're not challenging today. Let's do it. I saw the sign. Here we go. Round one. Cyrillic writing. Hmm. What's that? Mita. Mita. That's not Greek, is it? Wait there. Georgia. Kyrgyzstan. God, I don't know, man. Kyrgyzstan, I could believe. I feel like there should be a flag on that roof there. In terms of cars, yeah, it's Kyrgyzstan. Look, we got the red thing on the... um side of the thing. I'm going Kyrgyz. Kyrgyz. Let's go Bishkek, man. Let's go for a good score. I hope this is right. The red symbol on the uh, thingamajig. Let's find a meter service station. Why not? Why the hell not? And let's see if it's the right one. <laughs> My dad's in that van. <laughs> can't find one. I can't find one, mate. Oh, well. Where are all the petrol stations when you need them? I would not want to drop... Oh, there we go. Oh, let's... That's not right, is it? But let's just go there. Oh, your bell. Osh. And there it is. 
MPA. Bloody Osh. All right, it's a good score, though. Right country. Next one. Oh, Christ. I mean, this time we've got yellow number plate on the front, at least. Stop saying Birmingham. I know Birmingham when I see it. Bulgaria. Yeah. Go on. Yellow plate, though. Yeah. Let's gamble. Let's go Eastern Russia, because I've seen yellow plates in Eastern Russia before. They've thrown me off before. Let's go in this place. Pavlovlovlovsk, Kama Kama Kachi. Oh, you knob jockey. Hey, it's Anzi Maka Laka Laka. It wasn't Ukraine, it wasn't Romania. I got the right country, but a measly 24 points. What happened to their football team? Do you remember Anzi Maka Laka Laka? They. they they were paying Samuel Eto like half a million quid a year, a year, a week. Sorry, half a million a week. I think it was. What happened to them? They went bust. I'm not fucking surprised. <laughs> right, next one. Is this my last round? Oh no, I've got. <laughs> this is my third round. Canada. Yes. Bald and bankrupt was there, was he? Canada then. Um, oh, whereabouts in Canada do we think? I I think over on the east. Yeah, over on the east. Do you reckon? I'm gonna go Saint John. I think. Do you think Vancouver really? Nah. I c I can believe uh, Toronto. I'm going Saint John, mate. Oh, I don't know. This might be way off. I'm so out of practice. Yeah, okay. Do you know that's that's <laughs> that's actually not bad for a Canadian guess. Even in my book. That's Thunder Bay. So it's kind of in between what some of you were suggesting with Calgary and whatnot and where I actually went, Thunder Bay. Very hard. Well, that is France, isn't it? Pressing retouches. What? I've never understood why there's so much English words in France. Because they don't speak English, especially in Paris. They will refuse to speak English. And I'm not worried about anyone being offended because they won't, they won't be listening. But then you've got pressing retouches. Yeah, it's very strange. We've got a Volvo. We've got a Citroen. Another Citroen. A Fiat. Is that? Don't know what that is there. A U. Does that mean underground? Well, it's not Paris, is it? French here. We hate Parisians too. Retoucherie. Mm. Yeah, we also have a lot of French words. That's true. I was thinking Lyon. I don't think it's Paris. I don't think it's Nice. I, I, I'm going to go Lyon. Because that's where I think it is. On a back street in Lyon. Oh. I don't know. Oh my god. Thank you. Round of applause, please. Good game, mate. Right.
Yep, that's insane. That's going on insane guesses. What score are we on? What score have we got? No, there's another round. Is there? Oh, my God. Really not with it. Get in. Sorry, I need to get my mojo back. Get in. Right. This is Thailand, I reckon. We're driving on the left. We've got squiggly, squiggly heaven. And there's even a Thai flag there. Got to be Bangkok as well, hasn't it? Got to be Bangkok. Pink car. That really is a pink car, isn't it? That's not just faded red. That is pink car. All right. Um, all right, let's try and get this, yeah? That is a motorway straddling through the city going north to south. Let's see if we can get it, even though Bangkok is massive. I said Bangkok is massive. Okay, now, grow up. Right. So, yeah, I'm looking for... <laughs> you know, like... I don't know about that. How about like here? See, that's clearly raised. Is it? Oh, no, maybe not. No, because the roads don't link up underneath. This is like, you know, this is not going to happen, but we might as well try. How about here? See, the roads actually go underneath this one. But, mm, but then they don't. Do you think it's a railway track? Do you think it is? Yeah, it probably is, isn't it? It's a train track, a lot of you are saying. Sorry, one sec. So, this then, maybe. That's going alongside a thingity bob. No, no, no. Oh, come on. Come on. I need another one more railway track. Sorry, excuse me. Needs to be heading north, I know, I know. And I think we're really central too. Oh, bloody hell. How about here? Right, I'm going there. It's not, it's, it's not right. Oh. Ah, two miles, yeah. It was there, look. It was a road. I was I was looking right there, wasn't I? Pretty much. That's well annoying. Well, thanks a bunch, guys. Denied me of another insane guess there. No, just kidding. <laughs> okay. View summary. Actually, a worse score than the first one. How is how did that happen? <sighs> I don't know. Right. Let's close that down temporarily, and I'm just going to toying that off. Um, so, a couple of things to mention. Bear with me one second, actually, folks. Um, two minutes. Scooba, Scooby Dooby Doo. Just doing something. I'm going to put my face back down here now. Back in mug. I've got a little bulb on my head, haven't I? Look pretty stupid. I need a haircut more than anything. I don't know about the, uh, the shave. Okay. So, a couple of things just to say. You know, just to put out there big thanks to big shout out to Wilco and Zach for just helping me out a lot they're modding tonight um, and they're always giving me advice because I'm so crap at um, you know twitch and stuff like that because I'm just old and not very good at stuff so thank you and and not just them anyone else who has um, who has helped me as well sending me messages Secondly, big thanks to everyone who is now supporting me on Patreon. Um, 
you know it helps more than you could know to um to pump out more good content i like to think you know these these missions um, they're not easy to make and they they cost me a lot of effort and time and money i love doing them though and that's the most important thing so thanks uh for everyone who signed up and i hope you enjoyed part one of the mission and also i hope you enjoyed uh the video i uploaded today escaping from monaco um those of you who aren't on patreon you'll see that too you'll see that too on tuesday night it's me escaping from monaco um on in about 38 degree heat um and just kind of yeah just bumbling my way up the mountain to try and get to this elusive service station um so there's that part two of the lockdown mission will be friday the first of may um and wednesday night will be i saw the sign edition two i'm not old just technology illiterate well, you've hit the nail on the head, Max. So, um, yeah, let's crack on with um, rate my hometown, shall we? Bear with me. Let's just get Google Maps open. Goggle Maps. Here we go. I've stayed up till 8 p.m. to watch the stream. Stellan Bosch. Do you know what, mate? 8 p.m. is only an hour after <laughs> after us. But um, I admire your, not stupidity, but I admire you. <laughs> I admire you for that. So I'm going to go Stellenbosch first because that's just really funny. Um, where is it? Can I find it? Oh, crap. I haven't. <laughs> Bear with me. I'm not, technolo I'm not technology illiterate. Shut up. Okay, Stellenbosch. I reckon it's down here somewhere. I'm trying to find it. There it is. I found it. We, we're going in. Let's get the old satellite on. I can make my face smaller now as well. Shut up. Shut up. I'm doing it right. I'm doing it fine. <laughs> um, Stellenbosch Central. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, ye. Yeah? This guy's got an extremely 90s jacket. I don't know whether he's wearing that ironically, um, but it's cool. It's pretty cool. Bless him. Stellenbosch. This is all right. Sun's out, mountains in the background. Lots of guys pushing empty trolleys around. Caru Classics, leathers, lots of leather. If I was a vegetarian, I'd be docking you down points for that already. Mind you, I'm from Warsaw. We're like the home of leather. This is nice, man. I like it. What's this? The Red Teapot Gallery. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's pumping. How many steaks and beers are being consumed there? I think at least 47 steaks and 81 beers, but I don't know. Yep, like it a lot. Where's my placard? Oh, where's the pen? Where's the pen? It's gone. It's not just technology, it turns out. It's everything. Nope, it's gone. All right, I'll just have to... <laughs> I'll just have to say it. Um, seven out of... Oh, shit. Sorry, people's ears. I'm not doing decimals. That'll get that'll get confusing. Um, seven out of ten for Stellenbosch. What's next? Charleston, Illinois. Let's see what this shit holds like. Where is it then? I know it's in Illinois, but we're doing ten of these, by the way. 
So it's slap bang in the middle of farmland, Illinois, surrounded by cornfields. It's quite a small place. And it's just going to be one of these really spread out plain. Oh, wow. Whoa. That's actually really took me by surprise, that has. That's really cool. What is that? That's an absolute... Is that is that just someone's house? It's a fake castle. Yeah, I can see it's like... Oh, it's a university. I see. Well, that's cool. I like it. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of the university on Tony Hawk's 4, was it? And we've even got the tower. No, it's not the same. Yeah. Do you know what? The sun's out. <laughs> I love I love how that's such a big factor. The sun being out. But it kind of is, I'm afraid. And we've even got this. First impressions. Oh, come on. I thought that was a pub. It's a salon. Saloon? No, a salon. Um, 7 out of 10. Okay. 7 out of 10. You know, and, and that's been generous, to be honest. Next one, Newbury, England. I'm not being, I'm not leaning towards English speaking countries. It's just how they're coming out, all right? Newbury, England. I've actually got a cousin who lives in Newbury. Can I find it? There it is. Let's check it out. Let's, let, I, I want to see some pubs. I want to see some nice pubs. Let's see what the pubs are called. Oh, yes. Hello, England. Right, I'm not stopping till I've seen three pubs, and one of them has to have a really ridiculous name. We've got the Globe Inn. Good. Nice little church there. See, there's the real history. Why does he look like a middle-aged divorcee after the wife took everything today? <laughs> Thanks, mate. Uh, it's because my hair's blowing angrily in the wind. I don't know. No, but thanks for that. That's really nice. Um, <laughs> next pub. That's a nice building. Uh, well, all right, we'll just get one more pub. Oh, look at this. Is this the River Thames? What river is that? We've got a pub here. Oh, no, it's Griffin's home of the Newbury Sausage. I'm sorry, but I'm really enjoying this little ex exploration around Newbury. Boots. Come on. One more pub. Temptation. Marks and Sparks as everyone's nan calls it. Greg's. Come on, one more pub. I guess this is the shopping street, isn't it? I like it, though. There's Mackie's, just tempting us, even though we can't go. And the pub is going to be the Monument. And it's got a nice church behind it as well. The Monument, that'll do. It's not really funny, but it's it's peculiar for a pub name. Oh, I've missed the lock, stock and barrel. Sorry, Bex Brown. I do apologise. Uh, I'm giving Newbury 8 out of 10. Next one is going to be Mainz, Germany. Will we get the street view in Mainz? I actually cycled near... I cycled through Weisbaden, actually. I was cycling down the River Rhine. I've got a really good story about that, but... It's too long. Uh, Mainz. Does it have the street view in the Altstadt? We've only got photospheres, guys, but I'm here now, so. Oh, no, no. Come on. There we go. I, I haven't given a 10 out of 10 yet, have I? I don't think. Oh, God, that might change. No. No, it won't. But 10 out of 10, I'm not going to give out unless it's absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Sorry, I got distracted then by something. That's lovely. That's really nice. I like the center of Mainz. We're getting a, a biased view because these are photospheres. It is gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. This is the same place, but look at that. I love these ornate buildings. And I love the steep roofs as well. Which feature in you know places like the Netherlands and Poland and Czech Republic. I really like that. I mean, it's only one square, so let's let's look somewhere else. Yeah, here's another little square. This is more of a modern square, I suspect. Yeah, yeah. No, I like it. It's getting an eight out of ten for me. Someone is screaming. Um. <laughs> The guy's been banned for calling me middle-aged. Fair enough, to be honest. Uh, someone's screaming Derry Island. Derry. Yeah, London Derry. Northern Ireland. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't kneecap me. Here we go. Derry. Where that comedy is set. I haven't watched that. Derry Girls, is it? Or Derry Boys? Oh, Wiesbaden. Yeah, sorry. The German grammar police are after me. Yep, cool. This is Derry, Northern Ireland. It looks a lot more British, doesn't it? Like, than um, the rest of Ireland. Very much so. Somewhere in between, let's say. This is cool. Yeah, I like it, like it. Bedlam. We've officially found Bedlam. Is it a bed shop? It's not, is it? That's disappointing. The what not? Check these <laughs> these business names out. What's this? Bishop's Gate Hotel. Uh, I like it. I've b I've been I've been hitting some pretty nice towns today. I have to admit. See, look how fast this is, guys. It's it's not. It's GeoGuessr. Look how fast this is. This is. I mean, it could be faster, but tell me why GeoGuessr shouldn't be as fast as this. It's obviously it's their servers, isn't it? Combined with my computer, I don't know. Computer experts, let me know. And we've ended at the pub, the Anchor Inn. I like it. Got a soft spot for that. Eight out of ten again. I'm being, I am being generous today, but they're nice places. What was that? Oh crap! Wait, I saw one. I liked the sound of then. It was in Bosnia. What was it? It was like Bonko or something. Type it again. I've latched onto that. Burko. We're going there. We're going to Burko. That's three we've done now. Do apologize to everyone who misses out on my hometown explanation. Oh, it's by the Sava. That's quite a big river, isn't it? The Sava. And does that join onto the Danube? I think it does at some point. Yeah, look at that. Look at that for a confluence of rivers. The Danube by that point is absolutely stonking. Stonking river. I'm I'm fascinated by rivers. Right, we're in Burko. This actually looks quite nice. Ah, there's no street view. You're right, I haven't done a mid Middle Eastern one yet. Duly noted. I've done Turkey. That looks really cool. I like. I'm trying to find some good thingy bobs here. Okay, this guy's reading the newspaper. This is nice. Yeah. 
very dapper Bosnians, dapper Bosnian businessmen. They've got to be, they've got to be brothers, right? Look at their heads of hair and ears. No, it's the same guy, surely. Yeah, it's the same guy. Is it? <laughs> yeah, they're holding. I, I'm going to have to just conclude that they're the same guy. Huh? Wait, he's everywhere. Look, he's like a, <laughs> he's like a mafioso. And him, yeah, look. Can you, <laughs> can you imagine if they're not the same person? Just imagine that for a second. <laughs> They're different people. Just everyone's that similar in this place. <laughs> That's a hilarious thought. Well, uh, for that reason, this place has got to go. It's got to have at least. Uh, I'll give it. A, I'll give it a seven out of ten. I don't know. Right. Uh, what was the one in Israel? <laughs> Clan fair. It's. I've got it. Two seconds. You got it? Oh, Christ. It's all going to pot here. Beer Shiva is the one I saw. And that's where we're going. Bia Shiva Israel. We're including the Middle East. Is it Palestine? Don't think so. That's Oh, I see what you're saying. You you're being oh okay. Right, Bia Shiva. That's a big place. Wow, where's the where's the center of this place? I found the medical center. The old city. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Let's pop ourselves down outside the Negev Museum of Art. Apparently it's pronounced Be'er Sheva. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. Look at this old... That's sounding more like the priest from Age of Empires. I, I would like to go to Israel. I really would. It's just very holy, isn't it? And historical and stuff. I don't know why I've popped down on a roundabout, but, you know cool sorry if I'm not going in the most ideal places how do you get your city pick to be rated it's just random guys I can't please everyone I'm just kind of trying to get an even spread combined with who is kind of the most enthusiastic I shouldn't have said that you're all gonna go berserk just one more one more here we go old city I think this is where I should be going. Find a chippy. Chippy, really? Okay. Well, we've got some markets. Mm-hmm. Bit of hustle and bustle. Israelis, Jews, going around their daily grind. Yeah, not too enthusiastic, please, says Zach, the newly appointed mod. Well, that's a dead end. Um, yeah, for its history and its sun. Good old sun. Can't beat the sun. And its Toyota Avensis. I'll give this a 6 out of 10. I mean, I'm only judging it on the bits I've been to. So, so there's a Muslim cemetery there. Ooh, controversial. Um, I imagine. I don't know. Right, next one. Zacatecas. I hope I've got this right. Yeah. We're going to Mexico, guys. Zacatecas. Where is this? It's right in the middle. In the mountains. 
in the yeah it's in the mountains look at that what a place to build a city and that's pretty big Guadeloupe and Zacatecas between them pretty damn big so here we go I'm gonna put the man down here look at that that's a really cool church I like the way they've made the brickwork there. That's really nice. Zacatecas. Aztec -y sounding name. Let's hop somewhere else. Yeah, look, let's go here. I think in a lot of places, the main square is the place to be, isn't it? You know. So, I'm always up for finding the main square. We've got a Garden of Independence here. Yeah. That's nice. Twelve T out of set uh, out of ten says tangled particle. I think it's I think it's past your bedtime, mate. Hobgoblin today. Look at that. Look at that for a beer. It's really nice, to be fair. I doubt they're drinking it out here. I like this place. It's cool. Let's have one more little look somewhere. Um, oh, see that picture of that pizza that came up then? That's really... Here we are. Look, look at this. This is where I'm supposed to be going, I think. You know, I like giving them a fair pop, fair representation. Cool. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It's nice. 7 out of 10. Yeah, exactly. All right, I'll do St. Helens. We do have a lot of British viewers, to be fair. But brace yourselves, guys. I'm not going to go easy on you. St. Helens, home of Johnny Vegas. Yeah, am I right? I'm going in the shitty estates. No, these aren't. These. Are. There you go. Look at that. That is Coronation Street, isn't it? Look at that. I love it. Heart and soul of Britain. St. Helens. Northern jewel in Lancashire. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll go to the center. Sorry. Two out of ten. Saying, oh, one out of ten we've got. All right, where's the center then? We've got the YMCA and the police station right next to each other. Here we go. What shops have we got in St. Helens? We've got a CEX, a gadgets repair, a McDonald's. Clark's New Look Virgin. Oh, that's not too bad. This is the most typical high street. Look at him. Mustached, dashing street performer. <laughs> um, and then here we go. This is a common sight now in uh, Britain. Shops closing left, right, and centre. Because everyone shops online. And no one gives a damn about their community. And everyone's skint as well. <laughs> a concoction of the three. Um, you ready? Two out of ten. Sorry, I told you. Um, <laughs> we're doing three more. England is not the worst place in the world. We've been to Newbury. You've seen... <laughs> You've seen how it can look. Sibiu, Romania. Well done. I can't... I've only got time to get your name, the name of your hometown down, so I can't sometimes read out who, who selected it. This looks nice from above. 
Here's the square. Nice. Look at these people. These care about their community a bit more, I think. More pride. Look at those flags flying. Lovely red roofs, red slate roofs. Street performers over there. Three of them. And this guy's building some sort of treachery bay. I could have done with him the other day on Ed Age of Empires. Lovely roofs. Love it. Look at this. The history. Is this in um, Transylvania? I would say it is. Am I right? I don't know. This is really cool though. I'm liking this. I'm going to do two more. Two more dumps. <laughs> Look at that. This might be our highest score in place yet, this. I hope you're happy. Look, walls. It's called something different in every <laughs> country. This is great. This is getting a good score from me. I'm going on a random street now. Will it will it still be picturesque? Yes. I'm sorry, but this is getting a 9 out of 10. What's it pronounced? Trebuchet. Oh, Trebuchet. You're not on about the town anymore. You're on about um, the catapult. Okay. Fucking Austria. What an idea. What an idea that is. Oh, my God. Look at that. It won't be on here, will it? Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on. Don't be a spoil sport. Come on, let us. Oh. All there is is a Jones barbecue and foot massage whose hours may differ due to COVID-19. But how great is that? It's called fucking. It's brilliant. I love fucking too. Uh, next one. Two more, guys. Two more. Sorry if it's not ten. But we've got to get on with uh, five rounds of Street View Bingo. <laughs> okay, it's just swear words now. Okay. I want to go somewhere else. Okay, Conception Chile. Concepcion Chile. It's on a big river. It's quite north, isn't it? No. <laughs> Wrong. But it's one of the major cities. Now, oh, it's very grid like. Where's the old town? Well, there's the place of independence. Maybe it's not that old. Maybe it's conception wasn't as long ago as you might think. Huh? Not bad. Not bad. A lot of this massively depends on whether the sun is out and where I actually put the marker down. So don't take it too seriously. I mean, it looks to be about... 32 degrees here and everyone's got jeans on apart from this guy this dapper kind of white shirted man and white trousered man and white sandals with white socks interesting uh, interesting look I'll give him that well there's the main square of independence Universidad. Let's go down here. They're just white jeans. Yeah, probably. Okay. It's nice. It's nice. I'd like to see a more historical part. Usually it's the crooked, cluttered roads like that. Maybe we don't have it here in Conception. Okay. 
Five out of ten. Coming Georgia. No, I'm gonna leave that. It's too it's it's crass, alright? Haha. <laughs> We haven't done a Welsh one yet, have we? All right, we'll do Knighton. Is it Knighton or Kington you asked for? Definitely Knighton, was it? All right, I'm doing Knighton. I actually walked through here when I was about 19. Uh, we're doing Rate My Hometown, sir. Um, this is the last but one. And then we're doing Street View Bingo. I walked from Ludlow to Aberystwyth when I was like 19 with three friends, Dixon, Crav and Andy. And it was great. We had no plan. We just walked west. It was kind of like the straight line mission. But we didn't go in a straight line. It was just random kind of... In fact, we were all over the place. And we went through Knighton. And if I remember rightly, we had... No. That was somewhere else. I bought some socks from a camping shop. Let's see if it's still there. If I've got the right place. Halls of Knighton. What's this? No, that's some sort of cafe. Looks nice. I thought the camping shop was here. There's a kitchen shop. Strides. What's that? That might be it. I don't know. Either way, my, my feet were dropping off. And we were only like a day in. I had quite bad blisters. So, yeah, it's a typical kind of like Welsh market town. With, you know, pubs like the Red Lion Inn and the George and Dragon. And nice slate um, stone buildings everywhere you look. Very, very nice. Knighton's Place. There's a fish bar, whoever asked for one earlier. So yeah, it's a nice quaint little town. So those of you who wanted to see the urban side of Wales, you know, here you go. Bloody lovely. Um, I'm giving it 8 out of 10, just, f just for the nostalgia of it. Last one. Guys, last one. <laughs> ah, what do we do? What do we do? Okay. I'm going fish kill. New York. We're back to the States for this last one, folks. So, really sorry if I didn't get you in there. But, um, keep trying. Keep trying. Might It might get a bit chaotic when I become an affiliate because people might donate. And, I don't know, it might get a bit confusing. Um, right, here's Fishkill. Let's go to the Walmart in Fishkill first. And see who's lurking about. <laughs> let's see them all this guy's just having a breather he's holding on to the post he's trying to look cool really isn't he for the google car oh yeah definitely just having a good lean there with his foot long socks these guys nothing much to report that's yeah, that's quite a big shop. And of course you've got to have a milkshake as well when you go shopping. Um, let's go into the centre of Fishkill, which is it's just a little village in New York. So it is what it is, really. Let's have a look. Here's the first reformed church. Where is it? There it is. You know, this is all right. funny how they named these places isn't it fish kill like 
Imagine if we discovered a new continent now. What would we call our towns and cities? I guess we'd name them after existing ones, wouldn't we? Yeah, it's just a nice little sleepy village in uh, New York, upstate New York. Is that the gym? Yeah, all sport, health and fitness. Okay, nice. Do you go there? Who who recommended this? Do you go to all sport, health and fitness? If if not, why 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 not? Get it together. Hi from France. What the hell? <laughs> what? The What's going on there? That's crazy. What's going on here? Shitloads of people are piling in from France. Is that just all of you having a laugh? My good grief. Hi, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> Hi. I, d I don't know. Is there a raid? I don't know what a raid is. Hi. Uh, bonjour. Bonjour. I'm glad you missed the first half of the thing. Uh, anyway, right. <laughs> so we've done. We've done now. Um, we're actually doing Street View Bingo. Why am I typing in Street View Bingo? That's uh, Google Maps. Has it paused? Has it, has it crashed? No? Okay. Right. This is the last part of the stream, everyone. Je te toi de blidadou. That was for my French viewers. Right. Give me some suggestions. Stop saying hi from France so I can... Oh, it stopped anyway. I'm being raided. Wow, that's mad. What does, what does that mean? I was raided. <laughs> okay. I'm looking for five things. Give me your suggestions. Sensible ones, please. I had 8,000 viewers. Oh my God. That's mental. Mr. Anton Daniel just raided you. That's hilarious. A baguette. Shall I find a baguette? That's brilliant. We, we'll have a go. We'll have a go in France for a baguette. Should we do a French themed <laughs> Should we do a French themed Google Street View? Bingo. I think we've got to, haven't we? We'll do three we'll do three French things, alright? We'll do a horse, a baguette. <laughs> Sorry, but horse does have a link to France. Um a beret. Oh my god, could we find a beret? Oh, we've got to try. We've got to try. All right, those are the three French things. <laughs> I know, I know. A Pogba jersey. A French football jersey, yeah? How about a snail? I don't... <coughs> <coughs> okay. A French kiss. A croissant shop. A frog. I thought about a frog. A bottle of wine. Yeah. Because we might be able to do a vineyard. We might be able to do a restaurant. We'll try that. So we've got baguette, horse, beret, bottle of wine. And I'm going to do a France football jersey, right? Bonus point. Bonus point if it's got Pogba on it. Let's do it. Let's try and find this mad mix of stuff. First one, I don't know how this is going to go, guys. A baguette. First one, baguette. Now, what's a particularly bread... <laughs> is there a town... I wish I could speak French now. Is there a town that is particularly renowned for bread baking in France? Brest. I think you're just saying that for a laugh, aren't you? The town of Baguette. No, it's just anywhere, isn't it? Baguette. Yeah, I'm not going to type in anything 
Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm actually going to go to somewhere like this, Poitiers. Let's go to Poitiers. How's my pronunciation, everyone? And look at this. Brasserie. What's French for, uh, you know, bakery? It's just the same, isn't it? I think. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Terrible pronunciation, I've been told. All right, let's let's have a look down here. Boulangerie. Okay. God. By the way, everyone, French people, if you can understand me, um, I'm 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 gonna do a perfect score attempt in France next. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have time to do it this week because I'm 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 editing. I'm editing um, quite profusely for part two of the lockdown mission, but it will be very soon. Right. So we, we remember, if you see a horse, let me know, or, or a bottle of wine, or... I mean, there's a glass of wine, but it's a picture. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, God. Yeah, we, we're we really banking on um, a French guy or, or girl wheeling out, you know, a fresh batch of bread. That's what we're hoping for. And we're in Poitiers here. Do you think go to Paris? Yeah, but it's so big. I was hoping I was hoping a smaller place I might have more luck. All right. Okay. All right. I'll tell you what I'll do. Yeah, I'll go to Paris first. I'll go to Paris. Not enough people in Poitiers. Fair enough. All right, I'm looking for a boulangerie. What what's a patisserie then? Is that just cakes? Dijon. I went to Dijon. That was really nice to be fair. Okay, I'm looking. All, all I'm asking is for a boulangerie. Paris sucks, don't go. There's one. Got one. Please, someone be outside then. We're not really in Paris. We're sort of on the edge. So, oh yeah, we're way out here. But we can change the dates. Look, lots of dates here to choose from. Do you know what? A picture of one will do. Oh, it used to be an Italian restaurant. Wait, no, that's around the corner. There it is. There it is. We're looking for a baguette. He's got one. He's got one. Get in. That is the most French thing ever. That's hilarious. <laughs> He's holding a baguette, a big, solid baguette. Ooh la la. What about, out of curiosity, what if we change dates? Oh, she's got one as well. That is, it's, I can't believe this. That is a baguette, but it's in um, <laughs> it's in a wrapper. She's got like a sandwich baguette. The other one just had a breadstick, but they're both baguettes. Next year? Oh, no. No such luck. That would be so funny if literally every year there was someone with a baguette. Oh, we've done the first one, though. Ding. Baguette's gone. Next one, horse. This should be easier. I'm from Birmingham, England, whoever asked that. Welcome, everyone. Join the fun. Join the... Um, <laughs> thanks, man. And it's called Hobgoblin as well. Um, join the fun, everyone. We're doing... You know, we play GeoGuessr. I, 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 I diss people's hometowns. And we try and look for stuff on Google Street View. So far, this is what I'm doing. Birmingham is a top-tier city. I don't know. Um, right, for, for, for horses, I'm going to get that satellite back on. And I'm going to actually judge here the shape of the shape of fields. Unless you can give me a specific village that's renowned for horses. But I think these kind of small fields that are near villages are the types of fields that are home to horses. There we go. 
boom ding 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 that was a that was a record breaking time my accent's not that strong thank god first friggin ho first friggin field mate next one we're on storm in time here we might be able to end this stream early uh, just kidding we've got beret next goodness me how are we going to find the beret i'm thinking street street performer yeah horses are english too yeah but we don't eat them um paris i'm thinking street performer <laughs> we did eat them actually because tesco were putting them in the the lasagnas and stuff bordeaux for wine yeah yeah we're on beret do you think basque country Biarritz. I've been to Biarritz. Really nice. Really? Do you think south of France for Beret? Basque country for Beret. Okay. Well, I'll try it. Should I go down to this place then? Because that's even further into the Basque country. St. Jean de Luz. Or... Oh, I'm gambling. I'm, I, I'm going on a hunch. Because um, I'm on fire at the moment. Which is pure luck, but I'm going in this place. Why not? Basque for old people wearing a beret. Yeah. Oh, I'm going down by the beach. Come on, beret guys. Oh, we got hats, but no berets. Not yet. Street view. Maybe the, the further back in time, the more likely there would be for an old guy with a beret. Because old people, they're dying off. You think countryside? Yeah, but it's harder then to, to find it. I'm going to go to the, the main square in this place. I'm sticking with this place for a moment. Where is the centre? Rue Augusta. Uh. Let's go here. Let's go here. Come on, Beret. Come on, Beret. This is just women. All right. Do you think? Yeah, find a market with old people. Is that a market? That looks like a market to me. Uh, so I don't know about markets there alright I'm going over to Beeritz because that's what we uh, we suggested yeah maybe uh, I don't know maybe outside a shop look at that look how many people are on the goddamn beach here I've got to tell this story. One time, me and some mates, I was like 18 at the time, we were in Beeritz. I think we were on this town square here. The main sort of square near the beach. And we got kind of attacked. We got started on by these Moroccans or... I don't know where they were from. They looked maybe Moroccan or Tunisian or something. And I was with a bunch of Welsh lads... And um, they basically picked on the wrong guys. And these Welsh rugby playing lads just beat the shit out of them. Uh, beat the shit out of them in front of like all the restaurants and um, people eating their dinners. Was anyone there? Um, and then we just walked off. And then, and then they followed us and they pulled a knife out. And then we ran to the police. And the police chased after them. And that was it. But it was very... <laughs> I didn't really get involved because I didn't really need to. But, yeah, that was a mad, <laughs> a mad thing that happened. Anyway, um, looking for berets, looking for old people with berets. Are we going to find them here or do we need to go to a market? Always walk with rugby players. It's not a nice story. No, it's not. But, you know. Market. All right, I'll 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 just type in market, beer it's, you know, I'm allowed to do that. I think that's okay. 
Right. I don't know if that's actually a market. Oh! Is that... That's not a beret, is it, guys? Uh... No, it's not, is it? Yeah? It's a flat cap, isn't it? Everyone's saying it's a beret. Yeah? Wow. Let's move a bit. Yeah, let's move a bit. Ah. Oh, his head's on the roo. Come on, mate. You see, it's not. It, it's, it's not. But it will do. Exactly. It will do. Um, I'll put it on my list of things I still need to get. It's not. I know it's not. Should I carry on and find one? Oh, everyone's arguing. I think the French people are saying it's not a beret. All right, it's it's close enough. Yeah, it's close enough. Next one, bottle of wine. But on that note, I'm just going to get another can of beer. Is it really brewed in Wolverhampton? Il est trop choup. What does that mean? I hope that's nice words you're saying. Bayonne in July. Lots of ferries. Very, very quickly, guys. I'm going to do it very, very quickly. I don't know if I put this down here. Oh, I'm, oh, he said I'm cute. Ooh. He said I'm cute, though. All right, screw it, screw it, screw it. We're not doing berries, we're doing wine. We're doing wine. Any restaurant in Paris. Tell you what, though. I'll go down to Sunny Nice. Or Monica. I'll go down to Sunny Nice to a restaurant. And find a restaurant there. Hang on. Restaurant here in the old town. I should go to Bordeaux, shouldn't I? Yeah. But there we go. Look at that. I didn't even need to move. I'm going to do that again. Is this where I went? Oh. What? <laughs> Shit, what have I done? I've lost it, just trying to be clever. I can go back, can't I? I can't go back. All right, fuck. That's so cocky. I got one anyway. I got it, didn't I? <laughs> Was it this one? Chez Teresa. Oh, mate. Well, you saw the wine. You saw it. Did anyone blink? You, If you blinked, you might have missed it. We we had wine. I just wanted to illustrate the point that I didn't even have to move around. I can't find it again. All right, all right, all right. I think. So I was going into Nice. It's there, isn't it? Yeah, that's where it was, all right? We were all witnesses, yeah, okay. I bet they're nice wines as well. Wicked. Nice, by the way, might be a 9 out of 10. Absolutely amazing place. Uh, last one, is it? Yeah, it's a French football jersey, preferably avec Pogba. So... Where do we go for that? Do we go for the National French Stadium? Do we do that? The scene of their 98 World Cup win. Where is it? That's the question. 
the Paris International Stadium. Saint Denis, is it? There it is. I can see it. Stade de France. Temporarily closed. It's unlikely, though, isn't it, that there'll be a French game on? They're like at the time of the photograph. Ooh. There's something going on. <laughs> That's Finland supporters. Oh, my God. Wow. Well, we know where to look if we want to see a Finland supporter. But. Ali, Ali, Ali. Ali, Ali. I mean, the chances are that they, it's Marseille. Really? Oh, really? How embarrassing. Why did I say it was Finland? Oh, so Paris St. Jim... Look. Oh, uh, right. Sorry. I thought it was Finland playing France. I thought they looked a bit tanned. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's Marseille. I can see that now. And... All right. And they're playing Paris... Did Paris Saint-Germain play here? I won't lie. I don't like Paris Saint-Germain. Sorry if anyone's a supporter. I don't know what it is. Um, right. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll have another look. Just in case there is... One of these. The chances are, though, that these are just going to be... Yeah, too much money was one thing. That's a Coldplay concert. Bruno Mars concert. Slightly less IQ. Here we go. What's going on here? This is... Is that France playing there? We might have... <laughs> we, if it is, the chances are there'll be Pogba himself. This guy's German. No, no, he's not. Sorry, Schneider. Morgan Schneiderlin is French. So we've done it. That's, um, yeah, Euro 2016, which also you won. Yeah, have I got that right? Anyway, that is a French jersey. It's not Pogba. It's Schneiderlin. Not quite the same level of player, but probably a better attitude than Pogba. To be fair, I think we can all agree on that. Imagine Pogba's skill with Schneiderlin's mentality. Oh, yeah, you lost against Portugal. Did you? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Ed Ur scored the winner, but you won the World Cup in 2018. Sorry. So I'm not sorry. I wish England could get to a final. <laughs> Oh, Schneiderlin's mentality sucks. Okay. How isn't that a French jersey? That's an Everton kit. Really? England could win if they didn't bottle it. That isn't an Everton kit, is it? Have we done it here? Have we done it? All right. I'm saying we've done it. Look at the colours in the crowd. He's not wearing an Everton kit. He's never heard of Everton. Who's that? What's that? It's It ends in a HDI. Matuidi. Matuidi. Oui, oui. Très bien. We've done it. Finito. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we've done it, guys. An hour and a half stream has come to an end. And we've uh, left it off in France's National Stadium. Good game. Thanks so much, everyone, for watching, including all the people who have piled in. We've still got 2,000 viewers. Bonjour uh, and adios. That's all, I <laughs> That's all I can say. Seriously, um, merci. And I'll see you again, hopefully. And thanks to all my usual fans um, for, for popping by and being here. Au revoir. One second. Yeah. Au revoir, guys. And um, 
be sure to sign up to my Patreon if you want to see lots more juicy videos than you usually would. Um, you know, it's not just a lockdown thing. There's there's a hell of a lot going up on there. Day-to-day -day videos. Uh, so be a part of it. And if not, I'll see you in the week on YouTube for some nice free content. Thanks, everyone. Much love.